patch scanning displays. Advent of emerging fields such as virtual reality, augmented reality, electronic sports necessitate even greater pixel densities and higher presentation rates. Consider a target image that is at 4x resolution with respect to a base spatial light modulator's input. A base SLM's subpixels are configured to display the input. Our method improves image quality and presentation rate of a base SLM. Here we show an example result from our method and comparing it against a native input of SLM. To introduce our proposal, let us start from a basic example. Typically, smallest fraction in a display hardware is a pixel. We aim to change that by using patches instead. Here we show three patches that can help us in reconstruction of a target. We tile patches in an order and scan given patches over a surface. During a scan, we stamp each patches at the right time to reconstruct the given target. In our proposal, we identify patches for complex visuals. Identified patches are scanned over a surface using an optical scanner. As a result, an image is generated in temporally accumulating way. In our imaging model, patches are represented all at the same time on an amplitude-only SLM. For stamping a patch on a surface from a SLM, we rely on a locally addressable backlight. As our backlight is using incoherent illumination, Non-negativity is a constraint in this problem. We overcome this constraint by showing that non-negative matrix and tensor factorization can help solving such a reconstruction model. To verify our image reconstruction model, we design, simulate and manufacture a prototype based on existing off-the-shelf components. We first simulate our prototype as a virtual prototype where we match characteristics of used components to real life in our simulations. In our prototype, we use a locally addressable backlight with incoherent illumination. We illuminate the transmissive amplitude only SLM. We scan the outcome with an optical scanning mirror. We use two Raspberry Pis among with a Jetson Nano for computational needs. Our prototype is designed as a proof of concept. Different miniaturized variants is possible with the right engineering resources. Here we show a sample image reconstruction using our virtual prototype. Here we show a comparison of our reconstruction with respect to an input at the native resolution of the SLM. You will find more examples at the end of this video. We conduct image quality assessments for our method, conventional metrics of peak signal to noise ratio and structural similarity metrics suggest a 2.5x improvement over a base SLM. Additionally, we use a learned perception metric closely approximating a human observer's choice. Our findings suggest that our method is four times closer to a target image with respect to a base SLM's outcome. To prove our point, we build a functional prototype following our virtual prototype our prototype resembles a proof of concept where we show our image reconstruction model is physically correct. We rely on long exposure photography for capturing results as some engineering challenges remain in our prototype. Base SLM in our functional prototype can display an USAF chart as shown. Please note the visibility of the subpixel structure in the provided photograph. Using Base SLM, our virtual prototype suggests an image reconstruction as depicted in this outcome. We verified our virtual prototype using our functional prototype. Although virtual prototype closely resembles our functional prototype, we believe there are engineering hurdles remaining towards a full product. Here we show more results from our functional prototype. Our method relaxes requirements on SLMs and optical scanners while increasing the demand on faster light sources. 
we present a new computational display design that promises enhanced spatial-temporal resolutions. We show that a non-negative optimization framework that can either work on a GPU or a CPU can resolve our image reconstruction model. We verify our proposal using proof-of-concept prototype that provides guidance for a future display product. Thank you for watching.